there was a tower in Trona, California, and he had my father sign up with AAA in 1948. So. Your dad ran a, um, a, car, a used car lot? A used car lot and mechanical and a upholstery shop, and he loved the towing. Towing was his number one thing. How did you meet Chet? Uh, he was in the Navy in San Diego, and my, un my uncle was his boss, and they started having beach parties. Well, I went on a beach party in San Diego with my aunt, and I met Chester. My dad would call us. He wanted to retire. And we finally decided we were young enough we could come down here and try it. If we didn't like it, we could start over someplace else. So we came down and uh, Dad put Chester to work out in the wrecking yard. He had dark green shell oil shirts and it was August the 1st and he about sweat every mineral out of his body. It was unreal. So um, at night he would come in and get a shower and put on a white shirt and he went out to the car lot and learned how to sell cars. And my father was in an accident in, let's see, September of 64. So he got killed in September of 64. And Chester was, he was 24 years old. And Auto Club went along with him taking over AAA. Uh, Chrysler went along with him becoming the Dodge dealer. The bank went along with supplying flooring. He had everybody stood behind him and he succeeded in carrying on the business. Yeah, it takes two, yeah, especially the towing. If you run calls at night, you've got to have somebody answering the phone and we worked on it, real, we worked together real well and hard for a long time. Number one is the member. We've. I had that feeling, that heart for the member when I was just young. Dad would bring people in that had broke down and you just automatically rescued somebody. It was a good feeling to help somebody out and it just, it was just, it's just there. And it, to carry that on, you answer the phone at two in the morning, somebody's broke down. We used to answer our own phones. We didn't have D2000. When we moved down we had our oldest son Ray and three and a half years later we had a daughter Teresa. Three and a half years later we had a son Thomas. So we had a good family and we took family vacations together. We would let somebody take over. It just gets in your blood. You know it just becomes a way of life picking people up and rescuing them and then taking care of them and being happy. We'd get Christmas cards from people that had broken down. They would send us Christmas cards and just a lot of rewarding things. Our youngest son Thomas was killed in a car accident in 1988. And all the people I've taken to our impound yard that have had accidents, it didn't dawn on me till that happened how important the people were. And after that, I could go take people to the yard and tell them I was sorry. And I really meant it because I knew what was going on. But he drove for AAA too. He was, he could back anything for a mile and it would go straight. He was a good driver. So, and Will, our grandson, he drives on occasion and he's certified and everything else. So it's, it carries on down through the family. He didn't want to retire. No, I kept bugging him. We hit 70, I kept bugging him and saying, come on, let's, let's hang it up. I said, I'm tired. And he said, no, I like getting up every morning. Well, all week, during the week. Getting up, getting my shower, putting my shirt on, getting breakfast. He liked coming down, starting the coffee, 
answering the phones until somebody, I got here, somebody got here. And then I said, well, you know, I'm tired. And he'd say, uh, if I retire, I'll go home and sit in my big chair and that'll be it, I'll die because this is my life. So he enjoyed answering the phones as much as he did running the, tr the calls. It's worth it all. What's the secret? There's a lot of uh, sacrifices you have to make at times. And the good outweighs the bad. The good outweighs your tiredness at night, no free time, and having to work 24 hours a day. But that's part of the job, and that's part of the satisfaction you get back from the job. The most amusing story of all is he went out on the Navy base at 2 in the morning to change a tire on a car. And he changes the tire for the lady, and he's letting down the jack, and she says, let it down easy, my husband's asleep in the back seat. <laughs> That's my most amusing story.